So I'm in my car, I'm about to go to Walmart, buy some things for the truck. I'll show you guys what that looks like afterwards. Um, I was training all day. Um, that's what happens after, you know, you make a mistake like I did. Um, so I'm, I was in training and, um, well, the, to begin the day, as you saw, uh, you know, I had a, I had a little trouble with the truck, the right side, the foot, the right side of the trailer, none of the blinkers, the lights would come on, but they weren't blinking. So for some reason that was, that was the case. So I spent about 30, 40 minutes at the maintenance shop getting that fixed. And then I took that trailer, which was 44,000 pounds down the road, came back, did my training, uh, had a review and, um, tomorrow at eight o'clock I start, um, I start, uh, I start running 25 days. I'll be out now. Um, what I will say as a, cause I had a couple of questions, you know, updates. It is a daily vlog, but it will be a day behind. It's a daily vlog, but it will be a day behind. I will try my hardest to post by six 30, but these videos are like, gigabytes amount like they're they're gigabytes the size of them and it takes a while to upload those so please bear with me until i get the equipment i want to get i want to get please bear with me uh, but i will try to post them each day by about 6 30 p.m um and they will be a day behind so what you're watching is what happened yesterday um in essence uh i will post a video as well in the coming days explaining what happened on the accident um you know i just don't really feel like going into it at the moment but uh definitely within the next couple of days a few days i'll post about that um but beyond that to beyond that today's trip felt a little bit better um the backing i had that on point um it took a while but i used all my space and got it in there um, dropped my load for some reason. I was thinking to the all day today was the 22nd and, um, it's not, it's the 21st. Uh, another thing I realized while I was completing the paperwork is that I was confused myself because I was confused myself on how to complete, um, bill of ladens and what are bill. Of, well, I wasn't confused on what are bill of ladens, but I had never like, I was on a target load, a dedicated target load, meaning it was just drop and hook. And it was very simple. Um, so yesterday, uh, and this morning until me doing some things for the first times, including, you know, filling out and filling out and, um, you know, getting signed the, the bill of laden, where you're supposed to go, um, you know, talking with the the guard shack, um, you know, some of these things was me doing this for the first time. So I will eventually do a video on how you, how you drop a load, pick up a load, things like that. Cause I know it was a little bit confusing for me. Um, and so I, you know, that's, that's, that's what I'll do. Um, uh, so that'll definitely be within the next couple of days, next few days as well. Um, but once again, bear, bear with me as I try to post these videos, I'll try, I will get them out daily. They will be a day behind and I'll try to get them out before 630. If not 630, definitely that day, but, uh, you know, I will do my best to get it out that way. It's just, I gotta find, you know, gotta have Wi-Fi time. And I would do my best to try to, you know, get to where I need to go um, so I could edit these videos and, you know, take videos as well, vlog while I'm doing this. Eventually, when I'm in my truck, just talking about the future, I will have um, like a GoPro set up that's recording me so I could talk more freely and you guys can actually see me driving, see some of the maneuvers I'm doing, see what I'm looking at, what I'm doing while I'm driving. Uh, there and you know i think that'll be interesting as well um and i'll just talk with you guys that way but um until then until next time guys until tomorrow peace out today was a good day and it's setting up tomorrow for it to be even better good luck to everybody in the program talk to you tomorrow. all right guys first load is officially complete here i'm at the uh customer 
had to do a, you know, I had to pull up and back into here. Took a little bit, uh, <laughs> but it's, it's, it's coming along. You know, practice, it'll make perfect, but I got it in there pretty good. Yes, sir. So that was good. I actually used a lot of the techniques they taught me in, in training. So, you know, that was very beneficial. Let me go ahead and I'll hook, draw, pick up an empty and head back to the, the OC and uh, give them a briefing of my first trip, which I think that is pretty cool too. So after you complete your, pre your first trip, they'll do a breakdown, a, a debrief for you or with you and uh, go over things that, you know, uh, that you had to do like trip planning and things like that. So yeah, so finish with this one. I'm gonna break it down and I'll catch up with you guys later. I'm at Walmart. Um, I was just, you know, I was coming here to pick up a fridge and a microwave and some other things. And uh, I was looking on the internet and um, something clicked. So I, I, well, I just looked up what was the, uh, pick this up. Seems to be, I looked it up about 760 watts. I believe the wattage on my truck is about 800 watts. So this shouldn't short circuit it out. Excuse me. It fits, I guess. I won't be doing anything big, but that should do it. So I should be able to, you know, make some make some burgers on it every once in a while and uh maybe do some fried chicken but what i'm going to do instead of a fridge is think i'm gonna get a um is i think i'm gonna get a uh like a a, a cooler and just fill it up with ice and you know fill it up with ice maybe each day at a stop and just work that style because uh, i don't have any i don't i don't think the inverter can um uh, can can hold that if i found like a 12 volt maybe but they don't have it here now, so I figured that out. It's about 800 watts on that, um, it's about 800 watts on that, uh, what do you call it? Inverter. And it's not strong enough to hold up uh, a microwave, which is about, you know, the least I could find is about 900 watts. And then uh, some of the air fires and stuff, those are about 1,000, 1,200 and up, so. I think all I have is I got to get a cooler, put some ice in it, and do it that way. Unless I find a 12 volt, I definitely won't have a microwave. But hopefully, I get a, a truck sooner or later with an APU in it, and I wouldn't have that problem.